Portuguese. I'm rerunning this new uh, feeder cable from the or our house to the storage house. Um, so I've got trench and everything, but I didn't want to dig this pavement up, so I actually drove drove a pipe under it. The way I did, I actually had a metal drove a metal pipe under it, and then of course it packs with dirt. Which if it was just dirt, my plan was to take a uh, like a pressure washer uh, and just blast the dirt out and run backwards but it was so so hard packed clay that I decided screw it because I had I had some PVC drain pipe anyway so I ended up pulling that metal back out so then I was able to just easily drive the, the PVC in. Uh, this cable is about an inch outside diameter there it easily goes through the, the inch and a half pipe so yeah if you're going under like you know concrete or pavement or something like that uh, that worked out pretty good. I just had to trench it out ahead of time, you know, dig it out on, on both sides. But this uh, this trench here allowed me to enough to swing a sledgehammer and and uh, and just drive the pipe underneath. Got it dug underneath the uh, block foundation here, and uh, just I'm just gonna pull it up underneath. That way, I didn't have to try to go through this this wall. Now this is direct burial cable, so it doesn't have to be in conduit underground. This is the power, the old power line that was running into our storage building. Yeah. The feeder cable. using this little piece of PVC for basically weed whacker protection. This is the only exposed little part here. So I did end up going ahead and get an incubator. Um, if you've been watching our videos, you know that we recently had two chickens killed. And these are like our first chickens that we've had in like a really, really long time. Um, and we had six chickens and now we only have four chickens. And I'm pretty sure our poor hens are being decimated by the rooster right now. <laughs> I think he needs to go on vacation. <laughs> anyway, so I did consider trying to get to see if I could get the hens to go broody. I know that our breed of chickens, which is the salmon faberoles, the hens are known for going broody, but I don't think in their current situation, our hens are at all interested in brooding and the coop, the uh, movable coop the way it is. Ultimately, I want them to sit on their own eggs and raise the babies, but I also know that I can't control when I have baby chickens and when I don't have baby chickens that way. So at least with an incubator, I can add to the flock as I want to. Unfortunately, the week that I had to collect eggs, and I'm only collecting eggs now from three hens, they weren't really laying a whole lot because it's still early spring. And for some reason, a bunch of our eggs were cracked every day. So I didn't really get to collect that many. In fact, I only got five over the course of the week. And from what I've read, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe some of you can correct me, that um, you 
can only save up eggs for like seven days before you incubate them. Uh, I guess the survivability of, uh, or the hatch rate of your eggs goes down significantly after that. I guess I correct me if I'm wrong because I would love to be wrong on that. <laughs> so anyway, I only got five eggs in the incubator and we have like 11 days left and um, I got the uh, Nurture Right 360 incubator. Um, so far, I really like it. We'll see because I haven't actually hatched anything out of it yet. And I did start to candle the eggs like a couple days ago and it only looked like one of them had any signs of activity going on and it looks very positive so far but I haven't seen anything happen in the other ones like I don't know if somehow they just weren't fertile because it doesn't look like anything ever happened at all so I don't know we'll see I'm not gonna give up hope yet there's 11 days to go and I expect to at least have one baby chick <laughs> and if you have any personal experiences with incubating or uh, even with this incubator any tips or anything like that please let me know in the comments because this is all brand new to me what we're having to do is combine some stuff that to make room for another 30 amp breaker because the old feed to the other to the other um, building was was fed from outside and I wanted to feed it from in this panel from the main house because we can put this panel on our backup generator. Um, but we could never feed the other building because it fed from the meter panel. And I couldn't tie the generator into that the way it's set up. Whereas we were able to combine some stuff because they had tiny little things on a breaker by itself. Every big main project there's a little project that has to be done before it then oh, there's yeah. a littler project that has to be done before it so often it feels like you take two steps back to take one step forward yeah. and it's... this is so unprofessional So previously when we were free ranging our chickens, they had free access to our compost pile. And I think that really helps a whole lot when you have chickens. So now that they're pinned in down there, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this compost pile to their pinned in area. Oh. <laughs>